Sunbelt Conference playing their way, and you have to be awfully pleased with the way your team performed, especially there in the first half, Coach, where you sprinted out to that 45-29 halftime lead. Uh, great first half for us. Uh, tremendous, I thought, on the defensive end, which turned in to fast break points. Had a lot of layups, uh, turnovers, a lot of steals. Uh, after we got the, the defensive rebounding worked out, you know, they had a bunch of offensive rebounds early. That's why we were down. We were actually defending them. We just couldn't get the rebound. And it's something we were doing on the defensive end that we corrected at the timeout that allowed us to be in better position to defensive rebound. Same defense, now we start getting the rebounds. Here we go, and uh, you know the offense took off from there. You also shot 52% in that first half, and I know you really have to be pleased with the ex execution in that first half because you really got some good shots and weren't forcing things offensively. Uh, yes, and I thought that uh, you know numerous guys really got us in a flow offensively. Luke Phillips came in. Thought he was really good in helping us uh, move the ball early on, you know, in the middle of the first half. Uh, Josh Nicholas did a good job. You know, I thought Russell Harrison did a good job of kind of letting the game come to himself a little bit in the first half. Uh, he got to the free throw line, uh, you know, and so, uh, you know, it was just, man, it was a really, really good effort. I mean, you're up that much at halftime, and, and uh, you know, you don't necessarily expect that in conference play, especially the opening game when everybody's excited. The other thing too, you have to be pleased with four players in double figures, 17 each for Harrison and Ozier, and then you got uh, 11 from Johnny Williams off the bench and 10 for uh, uh, Josh Nicholas. Yeah, I thought I meant to mention Kareem too. I thought he played good tonight, Kareem, and uh, had a few turnovers that in the second half that we didn't like, but but overall he played a good game. And uh, you know, Johnny Williams is a guy I've been trying, been wanting to get into some games. Uh, and just hadn't been able to. I'd made my mind up this week that I was going to find a way to get him in, and, and he produced, and it was really, really nice to see. And, you know, what you saw him do on the offensive end tonight, make a couple shots, uh, offensive rebound, put, but he does that in practice every day. He's had to work on the defensive end, which, we're, which, which he's gotten better, you know, over the last couple of months. And, uh, uh, and so I was real happy for him to see him, because I'm going to tell you what, he's been the biggest cheerleader over there for his teammates. Uh, he's the ultimate team player, ultimate. Whether he plays or he doesn't play, really happy for him tonight. I thought your energy, your team overall was very good. It was good. You know, it's hot in here. It's warm. And uh, you could see there, you know, early in the second half, some guys dying down, but so were they, you know. And uh, I didn't do it on purpose, John, hot in here. It's just hot. And uh, so, uh, but we did have good energy at times. And, you know, I think we're – you know, except for the last five or six minutes, uh, we continue to get better defensively. That's three games in a row. I'm really happy with our defense for the most part. We're still trying to, you know, improve on offense. We've got a lot of improving to do on that end, but, uh, you know, maybe we're moving in the right direction. You mentioned the points off turn turnovers earlier, 29 to 17 Yeah, advantage. that's a big deal. And in points off the bench, Coach, 39 to 15 advantage. And your bench has been awfully good so far this season. Well, it, it has. And uh, it's growing every game that, that we play. You know, there's a lot of young guys over there. And, and uh, you know, they, they sometimes you got to have success and fail to gain experience. And that's what they're going through, you know. And, and uh you know, it's eight, we're eight games in. Again, eight guys on this team. This is only their eighth Division One game ever. Think about that. So, uh, you know, it's up and down, up and down. And, and uh, But anytime you can get that kind of scoring from your bench, uh, it's usually a good sign. Obviously, things are a little different this year because of COVID. You turn right around and you play tomorrow afternoon against Arkansas State again. Uh, from a mental standpoint for the team. They can't expect things to come as easily tomorrow as they came this afternoon. Well, I just told them in the locker room, I've been thinking about this all week, you know, how, and all the coaches said, how do you handle these back-to-backs like this? And, and I'm sure some of it's going to be some trial and error. And I told them that what I wanted to do uh, is for right now, on Friday nights, let's don't get too high or too low. Win or lose, uh, let's be even keel. Let's talk about it. If we won, great, let's talk about it. If we lost, you know, let's just talk about it. And don't get, uh, you know, too up or down and take that mentality into the next game. And we'll try that, you know, method a little bit and, and, uh, and see if that can help us and carry us into Saturday. Congratulations. Okay, thank you.